So previously we've made an application which is a utility to look at how big an image file is. So uh, if we give it the name uh, MyTest2, which is a JPEG file, um, the image info program will show us that the JPEG was 227 by 149 pixels, and that's great. But we generally don't want to spend too much time at the command prompt. It would be much nicer if this ran as a desktop program with an icon on the icon bar. Now, applications in RiskOS are actually just specially named directories with an exclamation mark at the beginning. So if we hold down shift and open the directory, um, you can have a look what's inside the application. So firstly, there's a help file, and that's just the text file that will be shown if you were to select help from the filer. And then there are a set of sprites files. That's what gets used as the application's icon. Some messages to translate to and from English. And then the templates file are what the windows uh, will look like when you run the program. So if we pick another application, again, help file, run file, some sprites, templates, messages, all very similar looking layout inside. Now, if you want the official line on this, if you can go to the style guide and go to um, chapter 16, chapter 16 explains in some more detail what an application directory typically contains. One extra one here that's useful is called boot. And the boot file is what will be run when the directory containing the application is first opened. And that's quite useful because you can set up um, little things of bits of system variables before you actually run the application. And we've also seen that the C compiler has a desktop front end to it. If we look inside here, we'll see our familiar boot, help, run files, but also one called desk. And this is a front-end description file. And the front-end description file has a set of keywords in it, and the keywords explain what will happen when you do various actions, like clicking on a box or dragging a file, in the front-end. So this could be quite a useful tool to allow us to create a desktop front-end to our image info tool without having to write any more code. So how do we put this together? Actually, obj size provided with the DDE is pretty close to what we want. It measures the size of object files produced by the compiler, and our tool measures the size of graphics files dropped on it. So maybe we can borrow something from th this uh, application instead. So if we look in its description file, again, we see a set of front-end syntax keywords and these just describe what happens when you drop uh, files onto the various um, windows on the obj size tool. So we can probably borrow most of this as well. So looking at that, uh, first thing we need to do is create a resources directory inside our project next to the C sources. So nothing in here will be compiled. This is just a place for data files. The first one of those is the boot file. And we set up a system variable to remember where the image info application was seen by the filer, and then a command to open the sprites. There's a help file, which is just a one line text file in this case, very simple. And then the sprites, which are the application icon. So we're going to provide those at three different resolutions. There's 180 DPI square pixels, 90 DPI square pixels, and 90 by 45 DPI rectangular pixels. And that's the version that would be used if you were viewing RiskOS on a TV set. You don't need to provide all three, but if you do the design at the highest resolution, 180 by 180, you can produce the two other ones just by scaling in change FSI. Moving those over to our application. So everything we have left now uh, is English language specific. So we're going to put those in a subdirectory called 
UK and if we were producing a version of image info for Germany or Italy we would create a DE or IT uh, directory instead. So for the UK we're going to have English uh, text messages. Most of the run files actually uh, full of rm ensure commands just to make sure that the commands uh, that we want to use uh, have the modules loaded. Then set the WIMP slot to 32k for a bit of RAM and then issue a front end start command giving it the name of the application and pointing at the image description file. So inside that file we see that it's almost identical to the one that we borrowed from Obsize, except we've had to change the application name at the top. Everything else, all of the other icons are the same numbers and do the same actions. The messages are just generic uh, front end messages, error boxes and that sort of thing. So we don't need to change that. And then the templates file, what we've done here is any of the windows that have object size as the title bar, we've had to rename the title bar to say image info instead, but otherwise they've got all the same layout as before. So then the last thing to do is to update our make file. So previously this would compile the three sources and make a command line tool. So we need to instruct the C app shared make file that we're actually producing an application this time instead. So we set the install type to application. The default is a type tool. And then we give it a list of files that we want to install when we're making an application. And that's just the list of files that we've previously looked at uh, or that are shown in chapter 16 of the style guide. So we've got the boot file, help, run, our three resolutions of sprites, the front-end description file full of keywords, the image info binary, the English text message translations and the window layouts held in the templates file. So that's all we need to do to make that uh, change from producing a tool to producing an application instead. Double click on that and you'll see that uh, in the output it's compiled the three source files exactly the same as previously. And then there's an extra call at the bottom to Perl and Perl uh, is just being used as a helper tool there to copy across all of the files. So inside our application, you'll see that it's uh, installed all, all of those side by side. And then we've got the image info binary that the compiler produced. Now we can run that and drag our sprite file to test over. And there it is, giving the output for the sprite file. And we drag that and that will give us a JPEG 227 by 149 pixels exactly as before. We also get some fairly standard information box, access to the help uh, and a quit entry in the icon bar menu. These are all standard things that you would expect to see for a desktop application.